Welcome back to Prague Shadow Channel. We are back with the Forgotten City. Last time we had a very busy time. We won the election. We unfortunately <laughs> bribed Decius to vote for us as well, but that's beside the point. We free Julie. We get a keys from some uh, cistern system. We get our second um, plaque. So we have Roman and Greek. And uh, the moment Dooley get out, he freaking stole something, so he triggered the golden rule. So when we come back, we uh, send Galerius on, you know, on his way to do all, you know, all the job as usual. And um, unfortunately, he is not magistrate anymore. It was short-lived, and that's that. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to do it again because freaking Dooley will steal. So, uh, but we have everything we needed from Dooley and he's a kleptomaniac. And unfortunately, under the golden rule, um, you know, that's not the best trait. And uh, he steals something immediately. So it gives us no time to do anything else. So thank you so much for joining me for the video. If you enjoy Forgotten City, support the series by clicking the like button. That will do the trick. <gasps> you guys. What? Oh, holy crap! Dooley, where did you get this key? What are you were doing in here? Okay, my lady, I'm going to you. Is this unlocked? No, this is locked. Oh my gosh, okay, my lady. I just want to make sure there's no golden uh, uh, zombie or anybody who can kill us. And I am with you, my lady. Is that even lady? Well, I mean, it's crying like a lady, so. Freak. Who did that? Who did that? Okay, my lady, I'm going to. I'm here. Who are you? You. Who are you? Did he oh, send he? you? I'm Sharky, I'm, uh, and nobody sent me. I just found you. Thank you know you're here. You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. What is going on? I'm sent here. <gasps> I found a way out through the gate of horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He wants to keep us all here forever. Or until we turn to gold. He's a monster. You have to let me go so we can kill him and take his key. Okay. Oh, Santilla, Santilla. Isn't it like the missing sister of the root? Oh, are you the magistrate daughter? Okay, Santilla, we have a lot of questions. I need to know everything. Where's the way out? How isn't this broken golden rule? I'm not sure if imprisonment counts, but I mean, it should definitely, but I don't know. And, but first thing first, who did this to you, my dear? Sentius, my adoptive father. Furies help me. I'll castrate and crucify him. <gasps> the magistrate. Oh my gosh, he is a monster. I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Hmm. Where's the way out? Behind me. There's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside the city, so it should lead us outside. The only problem is it's barred by a heavy lock yes. gate, and he has the only ah. key. What will you do if I release you? I'm going to take that key from around his neck. Even if it means it will trick the golden rule, my lady. It. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me, and we can escape together. No, what about yeah? What about the others? There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? No, uh, my lady. Um, 
Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. What if I round everyone up so they are ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? I'm letting you go. Let's get out of here together. Oh, <laughs> first of all, I can't believe the magister is such a monster. Why he did... Look at her. This is not like Eve's adopted daughter. Like, uh, okay, but like she is chained and crying and God knows what else is happening here. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, ma, ma, ma. Hmm. What if I round everyone up and they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken, right? So I can maybe get my man, Galerius, and have them escape. Although I need to make... I don't have... I need to get it... Ugh. There's no time. Wait. Did you hear that? He's here. Quick. You have to let me go. It's now or never. I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. I'm letting you go. Let's get out of here. No, I mean, I, I don't... <laughs> what? No. You can't I'll, just leave I'll, me I, here. I have... How can you be so hard? No, 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 I have the key. I'm going to help you. It's too dangerous. Let me see if I can persuade myself. Not heartless, just rational. I've changed my mind. I will let you go. Forget the others. Yes. It's no use. You'll never persuade him of anything. I'm telling you, he's a monster. Please. I'm sorry, I need to try. You're making a mistake. Okay, my lady, I know you're here right now. I also know he has some... Uh, gosh, this is so unexpected. So unexpected. So this is... Okay. Alright, alright. So, Pandora's box. Okay. Livia, Egyptian. We need to do this. And we need to do this too. So, my lady... My poor lady, I promise you, I'll take care of you because this is horrible. You don't deserve this. You will be taken care of. But first thing first, I kind of have a, you know. Um... <laughs> okay, uh, or I'm just gonna die. Ugh. Where am I? And uh, I need to check everything in here. I, 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 I am missing uh, the one flag. What? No, 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 no. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kick you. I thought we are done. Huh. It's always up to me, my dear lady. Okay. Oh, this one. Oh, you. Oh, I don't like her. Seductress. Let's talk. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided yes. to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but... The moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. Mm. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. All of that is true, Aurelia, but none of that is for you. <laughs> uh, I'll stop it. No, please go on. No, interested. Sorry. Don't waste your breath. I know you're a horrible person. Not interested, sorry. Why? Just because I'm a woman? Honey, it's your loss. <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Oh. Let's just forget that ever happened. Sure. So we can at least do business. 
So, what brings you to my tavern? For the record, Aurelia, you would say exactly the same no matter what I would say. So. Uh... Not for a few weeks mm. now. Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about some job. I remember because they kept looking over their shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. So, uh, naturally, I... <laughs> naturally, of course. The one word I kept hearing was vanishing. And then, the next day, Kabash just disappeared. Mm. Coincidence? I think not. All right, I'm done with you. All right. See I give you some money for 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 the old news. I already know anyway myself. Hey. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place I know, accepts it's tough. all the souls. I know it's tough. But it does not notice the crowds that come. Okay. Say it. Speak its name. Then it is true. I was right. You were. I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I, I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I, I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? Not really, but... Sure. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. Me too. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid. And the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone, some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. And still others incur punishment. Yeah. I hope I have done it justice. Oh, yeah, you did. And now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Oh, thank you, friend. I think I should rest. Go rest, take a shower, you know. Um, you had a hard time, my friend. <sighs> okay, we, ne we need to talk to our man. I am so weary because I know the elections are coming and when they're come, you know, we are in trouble. Okay, we are still not voting, that's good because um, Dooley cannot get out. Once Dooley is out, that's the end of it. So, okay, my man, you have explaining to do. Welcome to my humblest greetings. Oh, I'm George. Greetings. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, mm -hmm. you and I. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well. Ask me what you will. Ah, I knew this day yes. would come. I do not wish to lie to you, my friend, but even discussing this matter is... Oh, dangerous. don't worry. Please, let us leave the live coal safely beneath the ash. You can trust me. We foreigners have to stick together, remember? Yes, exactly. Come on, man. Very well. But the magistrate Oops. would not look kind Yeah, whatever. This, so please keep it to of yourself. Of course, of course. For several uh -huh. months now, 
I have been sneaking out at night to worship the gods of my ancestors in the temple of Where Demeter. It's day. I leave offerings of food in the hope that we may have a bountiful harvest. And yet the next day when I return, the food is missing. How strange. What is that a problem? How is that a... Well, how strange. So hmm. I ask, who or what is devouring the food in this yes. temple? Stranger still. Hmm. Once I sat in front of my shop like the hundred-eyed Argus until dawn to see if I could spot a thief going in. But do you know what Your I saw? Friend. Nothing. Nobody no. entered. And yet when I went to take a look, my offering was gone. It is bizarre, is it not? When I told my friend Kabash of this at the tavern, he offered to help investigate. He went in, and to my dismay, he was never seen again. Oh. Where is the temple? It is the only Greek temple in the <laughs> city. Head towards the baths, and it is the last building on your right. I do not think you should pursue this, my friend. It would break my heart to be responsible for two people disappearing. But you do not strike me as a kind of person to be deterred by such yes. warnings. So just be careful, I beg you. I will be my friend, don't you worry. Okay, so the bass are here. The... I... Yeah, Temple of Demeter, you're here. Ah, hi. Well, so if I okay, so if I remember cor like correctly, Demeter in Greek religion was the sister of Zeus, which is you know in in Roman the Jupiter, which is the god of uh, uh, which is the you know god of the gods, and uh, so I think she was like a goddess of ar uh, agriculture. Hey, my lady. A Greek said probably of the goddess to whom this temple dedicated. Perhaps a local Greek resident knows more about her. No, I know myself. <gasps> Why it says like stay here? I'm staying here. Oh. Ooh. One land. Yeah. Kind of a battle. Well, that's great. What type of a battle? Let's get ready, people. This is exactly the type of a place when some uh, golden zombies will pop out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check. Hello, my lady. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. There's someone alive in there. Ask the old man if he's kabash. <gasps> Ooh, flag. Take it. Too many shall suffer for the sins of a one. Um, but oh, we actually already have the Greek flag, though. Oh, this is so strange. Oh, 
there's so many. What is this? Come and join me by the fire. Okay, I will join you by the fire. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? Sharky? It's a sincere pleasure to Who meet you. Who are you? Tell me, what brings you all the Who way down you? here? I found this place by accident. I'm looking for a plaque that was removed from the obelisk. I'm looking for Kabash. I'm looking for Kabash. Ah, Kabash. I know this man. He came through here some weeks mm -hmm. ago. I will tell you everything I know. But first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical oh. argument with somebody astute. I'm hoping that oh, person man. is you. Yeah, no. Let us find oh, no. out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? Yeah, the young Pluto, or Hades in, in, in Greek. Excellent. I see you are indeed quite a student. Oh, I am. Very few come to that realization before their time in the sun is over. Oh, okay. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic I dialogue? I like Socrates, but I'm not sure if I'm like a bus and it sounds easy enough. If I have to. Good enough for me. Now... Let oh, me Jesus. begin with a question. Oh. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? It's not something I often think about. Yes. It's not sure. I'm not sure. It's a, a very complex question. You are an overthinker yeah. too. We're the same. <laughs> That's actually true. I hope. This is probably why I became. I'm very philosopher. overthinking everything. But if you struggle with right and wrong normally, then down here with the golden rule. Surely your struggle can only have become more difficult. No. I guess so. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not Great. alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable because our mistakes rarely had consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good mm -hmm. people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass execution. Yes. So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? version of right and wrong that is an excellent question and it leads directly to my next line of inquiry oh. so let me ask <laughs> you this is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing oh you know yeah i mean uh, <laughs> listen i love philosophy and uh, I studied for a bit. Um, I can go and definitely had like at least 50 minute monologue about uh, the different type of moralities he's talking about. But like, Are you sure, or is it possible that humans simply haven't figured out the right system yet? I suppose we just haven't figured out it yet. I think there is no such thing as a correct morality. Hmm, yes, let's... So is it up to each of us to decide what right and wrong mean to us individually? Or must we simply follow the laws and customs of whichever community we're in? Wait, I want to change my answer. I think we need to decide for ourselves. I think we need to follow the laws and custom of our community. Oh man, this is very tricky because... If you're a good person, obviously, like, think about what is the most severe. It's like, you do not kill, you know, for sin of the one, the rest shall 
suffer, right? So you don't want to, you don't want to kill anybody, and you would hope that that's the morality of any individual. But also, if it's a community, you want to protect the community, right? But what if the community morality is to you kill anybody who will come from outside, right? That is not morality. So that I am such an overthinker, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think we need to decide for ourselves. So if a man feels that stoning to death his unfaithful wife is right, then is it wrong? No, no, that's absurd. I agree, but why? Didn't you oh. just say right and wrong depends on the individual? If he feels it's right to kill his wife, then he's confused or sick. Fine, I take that back. Ugh. And that's a credit to you. It is the mark of a civilized person to change oh, their yeah, position and present it with a superior oh, argument. Listen, don't touch my ego about you having a superior argument, man. I don't even know what's your name. Wait, I want to change my... Okay, what's your point? My point is this. I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. Okay. I'm not sure about that. What about do not kill? Yeah, let's, let's continue. Surely you would agree there are circumstances where an exception may mm. be made, such as where it is necessary yes. for self-defense or to prevent a greater evil. Right. For any rule, you can imagine there are countless situations in which that rule may be suspended, and those situations are impossible to codify. If there is mm. one thing I have observed about rules, it is that virtuous people do not need Good. them. True. And evil people will always find a way around All oh, that's sadly the truth. And so we must accept our limitations and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote, a line mm. that can be approached but never reached. But yeah. never reached. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. This and no other is the root from which a tyrant springs when he first appears as a protector. And life under tyranny is no utopia at all. I agree. I agree, yeah. I mean, life under tyranny, it's no utopia at all. I mean, that's real. I'm glad to hear that. In any case, thank you for humoring an old Who man. Are you? I would be happy to answer your questions. Okay. You mean, how did I end up living alone in yes. this cave with nothing but these relics of the past for company? It's a long story. Well, go ahead. I'm listening. I was a quarrelsome young mm -hmm. man. At 19, I left Corinth for Rome to study rhetoric at one of her finest academies, so I could argue more forcefully. Great. Back then, I used to enjoy verbally sparring with everyone I could, and I was good. One night I found myself in a tavern, in an argument with a drunken mercenary. It became heated, he drew a gladius, and I won the argument, but lost my life. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, I failed. I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the golden rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. You see, I was not the first to take refuge here. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and twelve of us descended for the last time to live out our days hidden from Hades' tyranny. Hmm. So he find 12 people in the underworld to hide here with him. So those would be super, slightly superior people. So is the magistrate one of them? Hades, you mean Pluto? Yeah, right, right. I mean, Roman, anyways. They're one and the yeah, same. Yeah, I know, I know. The Romans call him Pluto. 
Long before that, my people called him yes, Hades. Yes, I know that. Why can't you return? My generation was wiped out, mm. turned to gold, oh. many years ago. My friends and I were able to avoid the same fate by hiding down here. I think it's safest to assume that if I was to return, Hades would realize that his furies hadn't finished the job, and he'd send them after me again. Why can't you tell me your name? I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city, even by mistake, that Hades would hear you and know I am still alive. Okay, where's everyone else? They're golden, I guess. I'm afraid I am the only one hmm. left. There were 12 of us in the beginning, but one by one, my friends passed away. Some from malnutrition, others from madness and despair. Oh. It has been lonely. Before my unexpected visit from Kabash some weeks ago, I'd not seen another person in many, many years. How have you survived? You either... <laughs> Living in darkness is not without its challenges. The first challenge is diet. Fortunately, I found that eating fresh fish provides most of the nutrients I need. And sometimes, when there are Greek people living up above, I surface at night and salvage yeah. the offerings they've left in the temple of Demeter. The greater challenge is the isolation. So I like to imagine arguments, where I argue both sides. But, like so many things in life, arguments are better with a partner. Yeah, let's talk. Okay, that's it. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. Do you know the way out of here? Ha! Huh. If I did, would I be living like I this? I have to ask. I'm going line by line. Did we not discuss it at length already? Oh, I see. You're toying with uh, me. Ha! Uh, <laughs> Alright. Do you know where I can find a plaque that was removed from the obelisk? You seek the plaque bearing the Egyptian yes, inscription? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> it is a cursed object, and I would be happy to give it oh. to you if Kabash had not already Gee, taken give it. Me, all right, then. Tell me where Kabash is. I will tell you, but you may find him hmm. hostile. To prepare for your encounter, there are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples and the people. When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their right. own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the shrine of Persephone became the shrine of Proserpina. Yes. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them here, out of reach of the Romans. Okay. I am with you so far. However, there was one thing that always seemed out of place to me, and it is the very thing you seek. An even older plaque bearing yes. an Egyptian inscription. What did it say? We had no idea until years later when the first of my friends began to die. As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this oh. cavern to lay them to rest. We extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally discovered another, an even older tunnel, which somebody had gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Mm. Suddenly, it made sense why there was an out-of-place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts for stealing and corrupting our heritage. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer oh than my gosh, any of us from imagined. Egyptians already? I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trail. There are certain things you must see for yourself. Oh, okay. Take this key. You'll need it to open the gate. Okay, thank you so much. I enjoyed our mm -hmm. chat, but please, keep my presence here a secret, yes? All right, I will. 
The hermit philosopher, okay. Alright, that was a... Oops. That was an interesting chat. Only if I would know which way to go right now. You know me being lost at all times and... Oh. Ah, you've returned. No, I haven't returned. Give me break, man. Oh, this is where you sleep. It's a little bit sad. Okay, so I think we're going a little bit long on the episode. So I will finish the episode over here. We're going to go and um, get to the catacombs uh, next episode. And I think that we are picking up the story. So hopefully we have some time before Dooley. Well, well, actually, we are protected here. So even if Dooley will break the golden rule, uh, we should be good in here. So thank you so much for joining me for the episode. I really do appreciate all the amazing support of the series. Again, if you like that episode, click the like button. That will help me greatly. If you're coming back to my channel for uh, Forgotten City or any of the other series I'm playing, Consider subscribing. Other than that, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.